What's going on guys, Big Time 110 here. Today, we're gonna be checking out the Android open beta for Android 11 for the OnePlus 7 and the OnePlus 7 Pro. But I'll be styling it in the OnePlus 7 Pro because that's the device I own, so. Real quick, I'll have the link in the description. And just so you know, the version we're gonna be downloading, but you could also download the other version. And while you're already here, you might as well download Android 10 rollback version too, just in case you wanna go back and you change your mind. You know, you have that already ready to go. And as always, know that there's potential risk and we are not liable for any bricking or anything that you might experience. But once again, guys, let's go ahead and start downloading that and make sure you know where it's going. Press save, let that go ahead and do its thing and finish. And you can install this in two ways. You can either do it like a normal update, just root of your, or your storage and just local upgrade, or you could get a USB and go through TWRP. And that's how we're gonna do it. Before we do that, we're gonna prep the phone. So remember we have issues with decryption. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the, our fingerprints. We're gonna go ahead and erase one, erase the second one. And we're also gonna remove our pin because we don't need that right now. And we don't have, we don't wanna have no problems or issues. So we'll go ahead and remove that. And once you have all that done, we're gonna go ahead and do advanced reboot. So just hold the power button and we go to advance on top and we're gonna go recovery. All right, I'm gonna shorten some of the sequence here cause I don't want you guys sitting through everything. So it'll be faster. All right, now that we're here, we're gonna swipe modifications. We're gonna go ahead and get your USB drive ready. And then once you do that, we're gonna go ahead and go to wipe. We're gonna go format data. We're gonna go yes. We're gonna let it do its thing. And we're gonna go back, back again, and back again. Now here, we're gonna go to install, select storage, choose USB storage or wherever you have your file. And then we're gonna go to this one, W56, that's the beta. And we're gonna choose the TWP because we want recovery to stay. So as you can see here, it says flashing zip to inactive slot A. So. We're gonna go ahead and go through the process, but we're gonna make sure to install it on slot B the next time. But we'll go through it together, guys, so don't worry. Okay, we're gonna head back, we're gonna go to reboot. As you can see, we're on current slot B, right? So now we're just gonna go recovery so that you can boot to recovery again. We're gonna slide that again, go to reboot real quick. As you can see, we're now in current slot A. So we're on the slot that we wanna be. So now we're gonna go to wipe again. We're gonna go format, yes. And then we're gonna let it do its thing. Now we're gonna go back, back again, back one more time. We're gonna go to install again. We're gonna do the same thing, guys. So we're gonna look for that 56W, W56 OTA, which is right there. And then we're gonna add another zip. I'm gonna go ahead and add Pitch Black Recovery Project because I love that recovery. And I'm gonna go ahead and install it. Now, once that's finished, I'm just gonna reboot the system. So you can see, we're gonna click on system and that should be it. Now we have the beta flash on both slots. So we shouldn't have no issues whatsoever. So you can see it's booting up and look at this. Look at this. This looks really, really different now. It is like they said, you know, they were going for that one UI look. So far, I've reserved my comments, you know, but um, it looks a little bit different now. You know, I'm used to Oxygen OS being really close to Android. We're gonna see how this goes. So let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and log in so I can get my app started to restore my backup. So we're gonna choose this one here. Let me just put all, all my info. All 
All right, so now that it's restoring, let's continue with this. Yes, continue setup. Next, I agree to that. And we're gonna go next again. And uh, no thanks, nothing else. Uh, we're gonna skip this because I don't care about the creation lab, so. All right, now you're gonna set your screen lock and you see you have pattern, pin, or password. So, choose whatever you want from here. I'm gonna go into done and we're gonna go unlock fingerprint. So let's go ahead and set our fingerprint. Oh, look, that warning is new. We're gonna go ahead and um, enroll our fingerprint. Normally I will skip this guys, but since this is new, I want you guys to see everything. I'm not gonna sit here and let you watch the other fingerprint enrollment, but just the first one. All right, so that's done. We're gonna go done. We're gonna choose uh, one plus sans. Boom, there we go, next. We're gonna go ahead and, and get the navigation gesture because that's what I like. Oh, it's gonna give us that little test again just to make sure we know it, okay, no problem. I'm fluid with these gestures, man. All right, we're gonna continue with that. Start. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. Some of the icons have changed. So let's see, let's go into the home screen settings. Yeah, we don't want add icons to home screens. We got the shelf, we got the double tap to lock. Let's see anything different here. We got the quick search. I think we already had that, but now you can enable or disable it. Okay, I think that's good. Whatever, I forgot to save it anyways. All right, so let's continue with this. We got the icon pack there, hidden space, okay. As you can see, oh, a lot of the icons have changed now. Even the animations, you know, and the way it looks aesthetically, it looks closer to one UI to how it used to look, you know, before Oxygen OS and Android. Which honestly, guys, I think I was a little too harsh before. I love Android, but um, this is not too bad. And let's move on to these uh, camera. So as you can see, they have a new UI as well. And a lot of these options. I'm not gonna go through everything, just skimming through some of the options that we have here. You got the settings. You got long press to shutter, okay. Oh, we could even have high efficiency video. Okay, anything else here? Okay. Let's see what else. Oh wait, calculator looks kind of different. Let's check it out. Hmm. Okay. Gallery, I think too. They they said on the notes that it was different or whatever. But I don't have pictures, so we have a file manager there too that comes already pre-installed. In the messages. Okay, so here's the shelf, guys. We still don't have no Google Now feed on the left. No option for that. We still have the normal shelf. You can see these are the only things that it has. All right, let's move on here. Let's go to the settings real quick, see? Oh, okay, see, this is different. And it has some nice animation, look at that. You know what, that's not bad. But you know what guys, one thing I will say though, at least everything's where you normally would find it, you know? Okay, let's go ahead and turn those on. And you know, when you go to MIUI settings or the Samsung phones, everything's in a different place. Okay, let's see what we have here. Go to advanced. We have screen calibration and you can choose from vivid, natural or advanced. 
we have resolution here. We got full HD or quad HD. We're gonna switch and, oh, look, it has auto power saving mode. So it'll switch from the appropriate. Okay, well, let's leave it on for now and see how that affects our performance. And if we go to refresh rate, we could choose 90 or 60. Leave it at 90. Let's go ahead and see. Let's go to vibrant color effect. Let's turn that on. Dark mode. There you go. Now let's turn it off. Oh my God, that just burned my retinas, guys. Let me turn it back on. I uh, will keep dark mode on. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go back here. Let's go to vision comfort. Okay. So that's the temperature. If you want it warmer or cooler, let's go to ambient display here. Here you could choose from these options. I think the always on display is not integrated yet. We only have the tap to wake, but I think that's coming soon. Here we have your display scaling. And we have your, let's see here, we have the screensaver. Let's go back here. Okay. Let's go to customization real quick. Here we have the wallpapers. Let's just change the wallpaper real quick. Let's see what we have here. Okay, I guess these are like submissions of other OnePlus phones and pictures other users have taken around the world. So. Let's just choose one and go with it. All right, let's see. I'm looking for like a beach. Let's just get that one from Romania. And we're gonna set it as wallpaper. All right, let's just adjust here how we want it. All right, right there. Boom. Done. Save. There you go. Okay, let's check out the clocks here. Ooh, I like this already. Look at this. This is the new one, the Insight. That's pretty dope. I like it. And this is my favorite, like classic one. And you have all these other options, guys. So there's something for everybody. But you know what? For now, I'm going to change it to the Insight. Because this one seems to be the new one. And it looks pretty cool. What about fingerprint animations? Do we have, oh, we do have a new one. We have energy and we have the other ones and we even have none now. So if you don't want none, that's cool. You have your horizon light, your accent color. So you could choose from all these colors. So just choose from customization. And then we also have your system icons. Leave it with round. Okay, let's see how it looks. Tap on the screen real quick. Bam. It even tells you one unlock. That's cool. I like that. It looks really, really, really cool. So I'm gonna keep that. Okay, let's go back to the settings real quick. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's check, uh, let's see here. Let's check sound and vibration, anything. Okay, we got Dolby Atmos. We got our ringtones, anything new? Nope, I don't see anything new there. Button and gestures. We have your alert slider here now. Okay, that's cool. We have navigation bar and gestures. Oh, look at this, hide the bottom bar. I like that. Okay. And then what else we have? Double click the power button for that. Oh, we have quick gestures, guys, so we could flip to mute the phone we could race to answer and switch you got your double tap to wake and your music control and other custom gestures now we have press and hold the power button and you could choose to have your assistant which is the power menu i'm going to leave it in power menu so let's see what else we have here apps and notifications yeah i don't think this is any different than before okay let's go to security and lock screen okay we do get your lock screen passcode fingerprint 
unlock, your face unlock, and your smart lock. That's cool. Okay. What else? Data migration records. I don't know what the hell this is. Let's just leave it right there for now. Privacy. I think we've seen this in Android 11 ROMs already, so it'll tell you what permission is being used by what. Let's go ahead and get out of here real quick. Let's go to location. Okay, it'll tell you, see what permissions are being used. So which ones are allowed and which ones are allowed all the time. All right, that's right, we've seen that before. Go ahead and go to battery real quick. Okay, we have battery optimization and we also have optimized charging. Okay, now let's see what else we have here. Your digital well being, you guys already know that. Let's go to utilities. We do have our quick launch. Okay, that's something I do like. I'll set it up and customize it later. You got your parallel apps and your quick reply and landscape. Okay still retain some of those that make OnePlus unique. Okay, system, under system we have RAM Boost. What is this? Optimized RAM utilization based on your usage. Okay, I didn't see that before. As you can see, we're in the open beta and we also have power off there, I don't know why, but anyways, let's continue with this. As you can see here, we do have the latest of the latest Android 11 open beta one. And that's I think pretty much it guys. That's everything that I could see that's different. I don't see anything else. We do have our Android 11 version of the new oxygen OS here. And this is the build for the one plus seven pro and the one plus seven. So honestly, guys, they said that there's bugs, but I didn't see anything right now. That's affect performance. Everything seems to be working great. I mean, I think it's daily driver material as it is. And I think I'm going to rock it for a while now. And uh, yeah, guys, if you guys are curious to install it, I will say, give it a go, you know, and and I think I was a little harsh at the beginning, but I actually kind of dig it. You know, I kind of like it. Look, it, it, it just looks pretty modern, but without leaving too much of what Oxygen OS was, you know? But guys, thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for the subscribers. Don't forget to drop a like if you liked it. And guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.